make sure you learn technique. Um, the intersection of technology <laughs> and technique. <laughs> You had to throw that in there. And I didn't even do that on purpose. <laughs> this is the Weightlifting Geek. The intersection of technology and technique. And the home of the three, two, one. Detroit! <laughs> I love it. Yo, I love it. This is put, 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 put 800 up there. There you go. We hike now. Um, Mondays and Fridays we upload a weightlifting video. Tuesdays we upload a technology video. Check out our social media. Check out our Amazon affiliate links. Let's get to the workout. All right, we're live. This is the weightlifting geek. You already saw the intro, I just had to get that part out. Y'all know I love to say it. But we're here with the man, the myth, and the legend, Ted Biggs. Now I'm gonna tell y'all something before we get started. I was about, what, 14, 15? Yeah, something like that, in your teens. I was in my teens. And this man hog-tied me and <laughs> drug me to another gym here in Williamson. And he pressured me to keep coming back and keep coming back. And I did good for, Maybe, maybe like a good six months. And then, <laughs> yeah. then right before Isaac was born, I had a spurt where it was about maybe a year. Yeah. And then Isaac was born, he'll be nine in February. So um, this is, I took about an eight year break, seven year break, but, but we, <laughs> we back to the gym. So this is the man that's responsible for a lot of the things that have happened. He sowed the seeds a long time ago. So we just want to get to know you, Ted. Tell us about you. Tell us about this wall and what it means. All right. Well, since he already said 14, you already know how old I am then. So. <laughs> <laughs> I currently sit at the rightful age of 50 years old. Um, to tell me how this journey started, it, it would take a long time, but I'm just going to give you a short version of it. It started like in 2000 and for me, almost like 2009. When I, I'm a police officer, a full-time personal trainer, part-time. And how I got into the personal training aspect of my career is basically, um, we, through law enforcement, we have to do the physical fitness assessment. So, long story short, I went and got mine. I always been a lifter, always worked out, stuff like that, because I played sports. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't do a lot of cardio, you know, I, ate whatever I want because you know the whole dynamic of weightlifting is eat get bigger mm -hmm. you know yeah. and all that good stuff so I fell for that kind of dynamic anyway went and got my test done um, cholesterol blood pressure prehypertension all that stuff were added up so basically from there um, when I got my results from my physical fitness assessment the people that that ran the test basically told me that I had to start either asked me that I were I would say I was active and then they told me about my cholesterol and they said if you keep going down this track especially with my family that i end up being diabetic you know mm -hmm. pre-hypertension and all that stuff to me that that that's all i had to do so basically i started working out i started and it, i started this whole thing started with um p90x and, and okay. insanity that's kind of started me off that lit the fire at home i was doing a lot of stuff at home got with a uh an old high school friend of mine um, Sean Harrison and me and him started doing uh, P90X workouts together in a gym in Greenville. And so um, we both kind of liked the results that we got from it. Mm -hmm. So he ended up getting his personal training certificate, encouraged me to do it because we wanted to pass our knowledge on and how our lifestyle has changed to other people. And we started doing that. Um, I got my personal training license and we started doing boot camps over Greenville. And then, you know, this hometown in Wilmston, I wanted to bring it here, a small town. Mm -hmm. So I kind of brought that dynamic over here with my boot camp, started off small, and then it grew from there. And um, I've been doing this thing now for almost nine years, first to training in boot camp. And it's about a lifestyle now. It's about me changing my life and helping others. So mm -hmm. that's kind of like where I'm at now. That's good stuff. Yeah. That's good stuff. And um, I'm going to tell you, the reason why I quit years ago is because Ted is crazy. And I mean that in the nicest of ways. And what I mean is Ted is dedicated. So 
if you come to the gym and you clock in, if you come for that boot camp, you're going to work. This ain't coming to sip sodas and talk about fitness. It's time to work. So um, I've always admired that about Ted from way back when. So um, it's just nice for this whole thing to come full circle. Yeah. And now we're having a conversation about the story and sharing it to people literally all around the world. So yeah. this is just super cool. Now the wall shows some of the people, right? Yeah. Um, this this idea came up about a year um, when, when COVID hit and we had to shut the gym down. So we started doing renovations here at New Life and we done some painting and stuff like that. You know, and when you work in those epiphany comes mm -hmm. in your brains and you were like, oh, you know, and I thought about some of the people I trained and I wanted to come in here when we open back up to have a what I call a motivational wall. Mm -hmm. So anybody that joined the gym and, you know, whoever hears this YouTube, if you something that, you know, you want to throw an idea like this in your gym in your hometown, feel free to do it. I won't have a trademark my now. So, <laughs> you know, it's a motivational gym, and as you go around and look, I don't know if Joe will have time to scan the picture yeah. around here, but it got people, some people that I've trained, some of the other trainers, and some of them that went to our boot camps here. Okay. And it just shows their transformation pictures. I got one over there in the corner where a friend of mine started with me about uh, about a year and a half, and he, he hit the 100-pound mark. That's one of, um, one of my best clients. Um, and a friend and he's now he's on his own he's hitting the gym on his own that's the kind of stuff we like and what we try to do is new people that come in the gym you know they come in you know some people come in a different body style they don't have this confidence that's why i told joe with this channel is a good thing because just like you know the whole geek squad thing is great because you got people that come in here that not used to lifting and You know, the whole Planet Fitness stuff comes into mind, like the whole, you know, um, lurk thing about that. But it's, it's kind of thing like here. So the motivation wall kind of gives it that these people come in here, they join the gym, they look at this motivation wall, they see that some of these people started off like they do, mm -hmm. and then they take it over and they say, I can do this too. So we're building the, the um, criteria to get on this wall. You have to lose 25 pounds or more or uh, you try to make a big transformation, no matter you know the size of your weight, you can't lose 25 pounds, but you make a transformation in muscle building and just change your body around. Your body, your wall goes, goes up here, I mean your picture goes up here. So we try to use this as a, a thing it has. A lot of people come in here, they look at the wall, and the whole goal is to be able to put pictures all over the wall and you know for people to get that concept mm -hmm. in their brain and to keep them coming to the gym as you know a new year is approaching but what better way to motivate people than to have the motivation wall like this mm -hmm. yeah that's it and the the thing that ted mentioned that i want to highlight and um i i mention it all the time in the comments is this is a lifestyle for me as far as fitness um before it was something that i did and because it was something that I did, it was something that was easy for me to stop doing. But now, seeing the transformation within myself, reading your comments of how our videos help you, um, all of these things have made it a lifestyle. So I live for me and I live for you. And in doing that, there's an accountability. You guys hold me accountable because you expect to see a video every Monday and every Friday and a Tech Tuesday. So I work my hardest to make sure that we can do just that. So um, it's one of those things that um, I want to do a video in the future, which is actually a YouTube video like this wall. So I want our family, if you're subscribed to the Geek Squad, if you're not subscribed to the Geek Squad, I want to start getting pictures together so we can make a video and show how people are changing. It doesn't matter whether it's losing weight or getting into shape or even if it's just the fact that you enjoy the motivational minutes. Something so that we can all get to know each other. So it's coming. Um, feel free to shoot me um, any pictures of progress that you want. The best way to reach me for that is the weightliftinggeek at gmail.com. If you send it there, I'll get it, and I can start working on this video, and as we get enough pictures, we'll make some. Um, so, one of the things that I've been asking almost everybody that we've interviewed is, 
what advice would you give someone that's just starting their fitness journey? Um, first, have a plan. I got a soul saying that um, a plan without a purpose is just a dream. Uh, you know, so you have to have that purpose. You have to have that plan to come out there and do what you're gonna do. When you hit the gym, you write down what you wanna work on, what you wanna change. Um, it's almost like a diary. Um, so I tell my clients to make video diaries now. I know the old fashioned diaries are right in there, it's going outside, <laughs> everything is technical savvy now. So I told them to do a visionary, um, a video diary. And it don't happen to be not like 30 seconds or however they want to do it. Um, but just record their journey each day, how you felt when you went to the gym and what you done and how it felt and everything like that. So I told them, you know, you go ahead, if you come in there without a trainer, you know, put your weaknesses up there. Uh, I advise you when you join the gym, the first day you go in there, look around, get familiar with the equipment, ask as many questions as you can. Most good gyms are gonna give you a tool and they're gonna tell you how any machine works. And if you can't afford a personal trainer, you can't do that, ask as many questions as you can. That's part of their orientation. They're gonna want you to get familiar with that gym want to. So you write down your purpose and you come in there each day. If your purpose is to lose your stomach, you know, you can work as hard as you want to, but it starts in the kitchen. So you gotta get your meal prep plan. You gotta go ahead and start all the stuff that's been holding you up. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and get rid of that. But what I always try to tell my clients is, I don't like to use the term diet, I said meal prep. Because diet means you're on a restriction. Mm -hmm. And nine times out of 10, when people get on the restriction, they gonna want that food more. Mm -hmm. So when you're meal prepping, you preparing your meals, you preparing what you want to eat that day. You don't necessarily have to give up certain things unless you got, you know, a lot of health problems. You can still have that pie, that cake, or whatever. You just can't have a quantity of it. The old palm method, that's a good way to do it. Okay. And Thanksgiving, this I think this this video is down before Thanksgiving. So, you know, by the time, you know, with air, y'all might already not have Thanksgiving meal. But, you know, you kind of go ahead on that method that if you want that slice of cake you know get it like that in your palm get it get it over with be done with it don't get go back and get those three slices and stuff mm -hmm. so if you come in there you have a plan on how you want to do it, and what you want to work on you're coming out each day you know if you say okay i want to tone everything i want to change everything you go over there try to find your cardio machine get up there mm -hmm. as long as you can 15 20 minutes you know try to work on upper body try to work at least two body parts that day even if you don't stay in the gym for 30 minutes, that's good. That's mm -hmm. 30 minutes better than what you normally do. Mm -hmm. Each day you try to increase it, try to increase what you're doing. Everything is the old saying, Rome won't build in the day, your body won't either. That holds true. You can't get it back in one workout, you can't get it back mm -hmm. in two workouts. It takes consistency, it takes um, determination and focus. And then you'll get where you're gonna go. You just, some people have, that have, they want, I wanna be like this in six months and they put added pressure on themselves. Mm -hmm. And then when they don't reach their goals, they get disappointed and they're ready to quit. You know, try to make it long term. It's the reason why they call it a lifestyle change because mm -hmm. that's what you're doing. You're changing your life for the better. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good, very good. Now, um, what if somebody was gonna get into powerlifting or weightlifting? Um, what I always tell everybody is just like the same thing with CrossFit. Um, make sure you learn technique. Um, the intersection of technology <laughs> and technique. <laughs> you had to throw that in. And I didn't even do that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, that's exactly what he said. It's, it's all about technique because many people that do CrossFit and everything like that, they know if your technique ain't right, you will hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. Really. Um, I'm not a crossfitter, I'm not a person, but I, I pride those people that do it. I'm not a power lifter, you know, that's that's um, definitely um, teller expertise. Mm -hmm. But I would tell you, you know, you try to find some technique, there's some instruction videos on YouTube that you can find a lot of stuff like that, that you can make sure your technique is right. If you want to get into that kind of stuff, you know, and then find somebody at the gym that does that stuff. You know, a lot of times guys like that, I, I mean, you see guys at the gym that slamming that weight down. 
These guys are not as intimidating as you think they are. Mm -hmm. The reason why they slam the weights up down there, like, is that they focus. You know, it takes that, you gotta go somewhere. You gotta go a dark place when you're mm -hmm. trying to lift heavy weights. Yeah. So sometimes when those guys get out their mindset, you know, let them calm down for a minute. Let that testosterone come down <laughs> a little bit. And just say, hey, you know, man, I, I, like, I want to get into that. Most of these guys will be more than happy mm -hmm. to work with you, man, because most they feel like a sense of pride. They say, hey, you know, he, he looking at me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to teach this guy, you know, mm -hmm. how to do it. Most of them, most of these people like to have this little, they like to be other people's mentors. Mm -hmm. So feel free to ask one of those guys, man. They'll be more than happy to kind of, and then you get into it, they'll show you the good, the good side of it. So you won't be following you no know, bad habits and you won't hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. So anytime you want to start something like that, always ask questions. It's better to ask questions than to hurt later. Very good. Very good. That's it. And that's how I met Taylor. I met Taylor at <laughs> the job and, um, I told him about the channel and I was like, man, we ought to lift weights together. And um, I really was honestly just wanted, because of Taylor's frame, I'm like, dude, got to know something. So if I can work out with him, maybe I can pick something up. And then here I go, membership here at the gym. And then that's how I met Jesse from the last interview that we did. The same thing, I spoke. And now all of these individuals from Taylor to Ted to Jesse, and there's so many others that I learn from every time I come to the gym. And it's literally a community. Mm -hmm. mm, excuse me. And we're learning together. So um, I just I say thank y'all for everything. Thank you, Ted, for the wisdom. No problem. Um, anything else you want to add? Anything else you want to tell the people? Just that you know, you guys, y'all tune in to Joe Channel. You know, for a purpose. I, I read the comments myself. I you know I comment sometimes myself. And you, you come in, and Joe's gonna teach you a lot. He's gonna show you a little way. He's gonna show you, like I said, the average Joe. That saying goes like that. That's what that's he's me. Going, that's another plug for. They call me Joe, average <laughs> Joe. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it's that way. It ain't, it ain't, he, they're not gonna try to con you into doing all this stuff like that. He's gonna say, hey, I'm a normal guy. I'm in here learning just like y'all are. And this is the rawest, to me, one of the rawest. YouTube channels out there and you kind of like that because ain't nobody putting on errors ain't nobody trying to do you know shameless plugs or nothing like that it's just trying to roll things it's just trying to tell you to get you better so keep tuning in every day man and you know and the more you learn you know put all your comments out there if you got any questions or anything that you know you want to ask if if I can help out anyway feel free uh, I don't know it all I don't fess to know it all it's all a learning process, you know. It's so much stuff in fitness that we don't know, mm -hmm. that we teaching each other. And that old saying, iron sharpens and iron, that's what we all here for, to make each other better. That's it. So that's it. Just keep up with good work. Look, and I ain't even pay him to say that too. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that, that's exactly it. That's all we're trying to do. And the growth of our channel and the way things are going, I'm just so thankful to, um, to be able to do these and for you guys to be able to appreciate the videos and enjoy the videos. So keep commenting, keep supporting. I'm telling you, we're going to hit 1000 and then YouTube algorithms going to pick up. And before you know it, we're going to be even higher than that. I'm saying like 5,000 and then you, who knows, who knows, but it all starts with you. So I just say, thank you. What do we say at the end of every video? Stay strong, stay positive, stay active. Geek Squad! Hey! We in here! <laughs> Y'all have a good one. I appreciate you, bro. No I problem, appreciate man. you. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Oh, man. I like that. Yeah.